Hi, my name is Patrick and this video is to tell you about question selection strategy for CAT CON section. So if you are solving the CAT CON section, how should you select which question to solve and which question to leave? So CON section, I mean, most students can't solve half of the questions in the CON section. As a matter of last year, it was much lesser than that. In a normal CON section where it's average difficulty level, half the questions most students can't solve. Previous year it was much more tender, two third of the questions people could not solve, most of the students. Uh, selection of questions is key to crack this section. So if you're able to pick up an easy question and solve, even maybe the few three or four questions you can crack the exam. For example, in CAT 23, if people who solve three questions correct got 80 percentile, people who solve four questions correct got 90 percentile. That means the key in the whole area was to identify the easy questions and try to get them right. That was key. If you want to solve more, yes, you'll, if you want to score more, you have to solve more. But yes, key was to identify because if I have to solve three questions, I have to leave out 19 questions. And I have to leave out 19 questions without wasting much time. To ensure that I don't waste too much time, I need to have some parameters of selection. That is what we are going to discuss. Key is to classify the questions easy, medium, tough. So we will look at how to classify them as. Okay, how to classify? First, ask three questions when you are reading the problem. So if you are reading a problem, first is do you understand the concept? For example, if it is a log and I have not done log at all, I have no idea about logs, I would leave it. But yes, if there is a concept like work and I have done work and I know the concept, yes, you can go ahead. So yes and no answer. Do I know how to solve it? So I have a work sum, but I have no idea. It looks completely new. I have no idea how to proceed with it. It looks completely new after reading it. I mean, it looks like a complete different sum. Okay, But yes, I have seen similar sum somewhere or I know how to approach the sum, then yes. Can I solve in a short period of time? And if the question looks lengthy, too much of calculations, would take a longer time forming equations, or can I solve it quickly by just forming a few parameters, etc.? Yes and no. So all these three questions try to figure out the answer on yes and no. Based on that, you decide. So if for the answer to the first question is no, that means you cannot don't know the concept. It is tough. You can just leave that question. If it is yes for the first and no for the second, that means uh, I know the concept, but I no, I'm, I've never seen a question like that. So if you feel still it is looks comparatively easier, market medium, but if it looks very complicated, market tough. So if it's no for a second, again based on how the question is framed, you can decide medium or tough. If you still feel that if I go to it once more, maybe I can crack this up, market is medium, else tough. Third, if it is yes for the first, that means I know the concept, I know how to solve it, but I feel that it will take a longer time for me to solve than market as medium. But I feel I can solve in a shorter period of time, market as easy. Which means I will first solve those questions which are in the easy mark easy. Then I will go to these two medium level sums and in the end tough, I mean technically leave it. Now the key is that you need to decide on these parameters as quickly as possible so that you don't waste too much time on a question. So try to solve as quickly as possible and then decide as to what to solve, how to solve, right? I hope this is clear. This will come with practice. The more you practice in terms of classifying questions, the better it is. My normal recommendation is try to classify during your practice session itself. So when you practice questions, for every question, take some time and then decide whether it is easy, medium, tough. So over a period of time, as long as you keep practicing, you will become better at it. Okay. Hope this helps. We will come up with more videos to help you. Thank you.